Hey guys, how are you doing? We have chafers. One fell out there. There's one. There's another one. I'm seeing lots of ants. Considerable ants here, actually. Right, we've been away on holiday. We've had 10 days away. The grass has grown. It's not been watered. It's not been looked after. But do you know what? I ain't worried. We're going to be doing a renovation in the next month or so. So for now, I'm just going to give it a cut and then we'll have a look at the lawn and see what needs to be done. Let's crack on. So, just a tidy up cut, and yes, I broke the one third rule, but I'm not too worried because it will recover and it's got a few areas of stress at the moment. But we're going to be doing stuff about it, so I ain't too worried about it at the moment. Now, the dog's been doing her thing and peeing on the lawn. One, two, and I think there's a third one, a three. Little one there, four, actually, five. And we've got some drought stress over there. And we always have an issue every year around this middle section and around these trees. It's either gonna be roots. <laughs> My daughter is being, she's got some horses and she's making horse noises neighing give me strength anyway <laughs> um yeah so i'm going to have a dig over there and try and find out if there's anything else such as grubs because in the past we have had some grub issues around here <laughs> yeah mate yeah even though i've put products on in this section and it's recovered it, it seems to have lost the edge quite quickly. I just want to check and make sure nothing more sinister is going off. So when you get upon it, you can see that it has thinned out a bit there. So I'm gonna do a couple of digs here and we'll have a look. Well, that feels quite loose. So, I can see ants, actually. The roots here are around three inches. But the first thing I'm noticing is ants, and they can be an issue. So this may just be a simple issue of ants. However, what we got here, a worm. Oh, chafer grub, here we go. But uh, in general, not that many. <coughs> what you want to do is move into a surrounding spot because they generally eat the roots and then spread out to surrounding areas. So I'd expect them to be in these sections at the side more so now that is that was like quite thin and that is thinning so we'll have a little look in there now most lawns will tolerate one or two grubs it's not the end of the world if you find one or two and if you have good plant health with nice deep roots sometimes you don't even have to worry because your plant can withstand it And this is the key, guys. 
healthy grass with long roots. So again, I'm seeing lots of ants, considerable ants here, actually. There's a chafer and there's another chafer. Another chafer. So we do have a bit of a chafer grub issue here. So we're going to have to do something about that. I'm probably going to apply some turf solve to deal with the chafers. You can buy nematodes, but turf solves is a lot easier to apply and aftercare as well. And it's natural. So that's that. We'll just have a look in one more area and um, we'll go to this section here, just to the right of a stressed area. So this piece that looks relatively healthy Okay, so a, a, we have chafers. One fell out there. There's one, there's another one. Plenty of worms. The roots are still fairly good, but you can feel it's, it's not like densely matted together. It's, it's quite loose and crumbly. And that's because the roots have been thinned out. So we've caught it at an early stage. So yeah. So I'm quite happy with the diagnosis. We will do something for the ants and we will do something for the grubs. Um, in terms of thatch, very little thatch to be fair. Dwarf ryegrass does not produce a lot of thatch. All right, so. It's actually stopped raining now, which is a bit annoying, but there you go. We have a water ban coming in tomorrow, so we can still legally use the hose pipe today. What I'm going to do, I'm going to put some turf solve on to try and control the grub numbers. And what it does, it basically smothers them. And then it's got some other goodies in there, which helps promote plant health. So it'll help the grass recover. So I'm going to get some turf solve on, and then I'm going to put some wetting agent on my emerald green. And what that's going to do, that's going to help the grass recover even faster. Plus we've got the water, the hose pipe band coming, so we need to get some wetness into the ground to help the plant through the next few weeks. Right, so I'm going to apply the emerald green first. Now I want to get this on and watered in so it's in the ground, ready for any further watering. It makes sense to get that on first because then it's doing what it needs to do. Then we will get the turf solve on straight after. First things first, now these are organic, you don't really need a face mask but it wouldn't harm if you wanted to put one on. This is a fantastic inexpensive face mask, I've done a video reviewing this, if you're interested I'll show it up on the screen now, look at the top right and you'll see a link to it. Now the first thing you need to do is know the size of your lawn. Now I've actually done a video on measuring the size of your lawn and again I will link to that video right now here at the top right. Always wear hand protection and any other appropriate protection you need. Pesticides and herbicides always wear a face shield or a face mask depending on the product. Please read the instructions. With the organic stuff it's not so much of an issue. So I'm not going to be wearing this on this occasion. So with the wetting oven, you need four mil per square meter. And we advise that you mix it in 30 mil of water per square meter. So we're going to go with 280 mil of emerald green. Always give it a bit of a shake first, by the way just to mix the ingredients up. Get an idea on 280 mil. Doesn't have to be super accurate with this. You just need to be somewhere close. You can put more in if you wish. It won't harm. So I'm just gonna keep it at 300 there. 
I'm going to put the water in first, which you should always do. Where's the hose pipe? Now it says 2.1 litres, should be enough to cover my lawn. And I think I'll probably go to three. So that should be enough water for that. So we've got our Emma Boom wetting agent and tonic going in there. And then what you're going to do, put the lid back on, give it a shake. They do have little breather holes in the top. So I usually use a bit of blue towel or kitchen towel. If you cover that, lean it forwards and just rock. Maybe do it for 20 seconds, 30 seconds, something like that. Okay, so a little bit has actually come out the top there, so that's why we use that. Right, so it's time to get this on. This is going to help the lawn recover from the stress. So all I will do, I'm just going to walk up and down with this until it's all been used. Now it doesn't matter if I walk over the lawn twice, three times, four times, I could fill this up to the brim with water and get a good even coverage, but the two litres should be enough. I think I've probably got closer to three. Now we went away on holiday and the lawn never got watered. The apples dropped off the tree and the grass grew. Although it didn't grow much because it had been very hot and mainly dry. But we had a previous emerald green on a few weeks ago which helped it through. But it had a good watering before we went away and the grass obviously made use of that water so it just helped it through the worst of it so we're now applying again because this is going to help with the recovery which the grass desperately needs right now because of the stress from the chafer grubs and the ants in the lawn this is now going to help the grass feel happy it will give it health and the grass will become stronger and produce deeper roots. We just need it to recover. Whenever it's stressed, you can do things to help it recover. And this is one of those things. This emerald green has to be watered in well. So that is the what we have to do. Once we've got it all on, we've got the drought stress as well, which is going to help with this. Right, that's the emerald green applied, watered in. And it's starting to rain again, which I'm pleased about actually, because the turf solve just needs a bit of a gentle watering in, so the rain itself may just be enough. Turf solve is designed for plant health and controlling grub numbers. Remember, most pesticides are now banned in the UK, so we have to go with organic methods. You can look at nematodes, you can look at a few different options, but this I like because it's organic and it does have some degree of control but nothing is perfect in life these days so we only have to do what we can anyway that said we're going to get some on I have noticed over the last two years year and a half it does sometimes also help control ants but there's no guarantee or any reference to ants anywhere on the packaging 
but from my own personal opinion it does sometimes have a bit of an effect on ants but you've got to keep applying it quite regular um, if you were to apply turf solve you know every week every couple of weeks on your lawn it will really make a difference so let's crack on so turf solve is slightly different you have to be spot on with your application rate you can't put too much product in because it will lessen the effect so with turf solve two mil per square meter in a hundred mil of water so we've got 70 square meters so we want 140 mil on my lawn and 100 mil so that's like seven liters seven liters of water so let's get this on if you get one of these hose locks with the red end on it will stop the water spurting out it's really handy for this you just get it where you want it pop it on and let's get seven liters in so 140 mil of turf solve so that is the bottle for turf solve they're 500 mil in there we sell these and we sell the emerald green um or you can buy it direct from the manufacturer turfsolveuk.com we have these bulk you can buy them in bulk as well if you're doing a lot of it so we want 140 mil so that's that remember you've got to get this fairly accurate that's a hundred twenty forty perfect that is it Right, that's done. It's had a cut. We put emerald green on, wetting agent just to help it with the stress of everything. And we put a turf solve on to try and deal with the grubs and the ants. So we're just gonna monitor the situation now. What I expect is over the next couple of weeks that these central areas will improve. Now I know from just putting the wetting agent on, the emerald green, that these central areas improve anyway but it doesn't take long before they start to suffer again because they're under attack from the grubs and the ants so let's monitor that and see how it goes ants are very tribal they tend to stick together and if they don't like an area they can move to another area so if we're still having problems with ants i'll put an insecticide down or some ant powder but we'll cross that bridge for now i'm going to see how we get on with the turf solve and we'll, we'll give it a couple of weeks. But I expect this central area to recover, just the whole thing to just generally pick up and improve. It's probably time to get some fertilizer on soon, but um, that's not gonna be for today. So yeah, that was just a little update for you guys, just to see where we're at with my lawn. It, it's been neglected because we've been away, and you can see what happens when you're away, and it's time to get it back. Regarding renovation, 
I'm still undecided if I'm going to renovate or not, just because it's not looking too bad. For a typical lawn, it looks quite happy and quite healthy, but it is going to thin over winter because of all these trees and shrubs. I did start at the start of the year to cut some of them down at the end, but then we ran, into, ran out of time pretty much because work kicked in and I was doing renovations and then the birds started nesting. So what I want to do is sort of carry that lower level on all the way across, but now I've got a huge tree. So I'm undecided at the minute whether to just accept that it'll go thin every winter and reseed it in spring or what. The only other thing I want to do is a little bit more leveling up. So that will obviously be done at the same time as any seeding. So it may end up being spring when we do another renovation on this lawn. I'm going to see what it looks like in a couple of weeks. We'll take it from there. So thanks again for watching. Very much appreciated, please. One of them would be brilliant. If you've got any questions, pop them down there and I will answer as soon as I possibly can. I hope everything's going well. We'll see you guys on the next one.